Whenever you want to hear my story, come see me. Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to Pikmin 4. We, re we reached the end game of Olimar's Shipwreck Tales. And honestly, I don't have a whole lot I want to do here. Anything else is probably just for the sake of it, exploring the treasure catalog and not even the bestiary. I mean, most of this is... Most of my curiosity has already been sated. Anything else are just enemies from Pikmin 2 that I know what Olimar has to say on. What looks like the interior of a flower is actually an insectivorous leaf that's developed into an organ. This organ releases a sweet scent from its central pistil, luring small insects into its interior and trapping them. Weird. Candy Pop Buds went, underwent a, a serious redesign in, I think, Pikmin 3 and then also 4. I'm not entirely sure if I'm okay with them. Because I kind of like how they looked before. Six days left. Six ship parts remaining. And we return to the hero's hideaway. Which has yet to be named by Olimar. For good reason. <sighs> I'm going to be very serious this day. Which is going to be weird. Because I've been drinking a lot of Mike's Hard Lemonades. But I have a strategy. We're going to start with, I think, 60 yellows, 40 reds. Come on, come on, come on. Disband. Switch over to moss. And... Ooh, I didn't think about that. That's a good idea. I'm going to go... I might have to change that strategy. Ah, let's see. How do I do this? I need to go there as well. I need to free... I have ice bombs. I have ice bombs. Problem is, I need a captain here. I think I postponed this. I'll postpone this. Okay, so as a group... We're going to go this way. Start immediately. Swarm that. We're going to go up to the, the stove top. And have them start building that that uh, that climbing wall, and then switch over to moss, and work on the area that I opened last episode. Uh, we're going to expand, disband, switch, take everyone. Olimar's squad will return. And we're going to deal with this bearded armpit. Yes, I am going to call it that until the heat death of this universe. Die! One of my least favorite looking enemies. Goodbye. Is dead. And I'm getting an ice bomb, which we're going to need in a moment. Are they having trouble? Oh, you are though. step on this. Will it work? Is it going to work? It is going to work. Perfect. And we need moss over here anyway. This is lining up so well. And we get the, the pilot's cushion. Die. One tapped it. Ten. Ten. And then... That's it for Moss's part, although I need to get up there. So, I think Moss... I can't do that. Um... Hmm. Olimar's gonna have... T is not gonna have enough Pikmin. I'm gonna send Moss over here to give Olimar more Pikmin. There we go. And now... Five... We need to hit this switch, which will turn on the the uh, the all the fans in this area. Okay, this is just gonna lower, which I don't really care about. Oh, this is already frozen. Okay, that's nice. Perfect. So I don't need I actually don't need moss to be there. So moss instead. Go back to base and grab Pikmin, um, so that you can take the fan. Should have switched before that. Switch. Oh, that's fine. You guys can deal with that. I, for one, am going to deal with this. 
We have fans. And I'm going to leave the charge on this. Let's go. Oh my... Whoa. Okay. Drop it down. Drop it down. Goodbye. I also remembered that... Um, uh, we're going to... Disband. Olimar needs to go through this hole. And then... Moss. Oh my word. Um, you know what, Moss? Yeah, I think the time... <laughs> the age of yellows is over. The time of the orc has come. You get up there. And into hiding. That's nuts. Okay, so we're up here. There's nothing immediately up here. I'm going to watch this from afar. That's crazy. It's also cool to get a sense of scale. That's the one thing I like about this area, is it kind of... It reminds you how big things are. Okay, you... I'm gonna bait out your attack. Go, 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 go. Come on back, come on back. I can't defeat you. But I can't distract you. Go, 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 go. Sweet! Let's get out of here! And this guy's giving up on life. Okay, cool. Uh, that's done. That's done. So now... We didn't need that. Why is this... Not doing anything? Why- wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Why is that not doing anything? Olimar, go... <sighs> wait, wait, wait. Do I have the surveyor's thing? I do. I do. I do. We're gonna pause time real quick. Make sure that they're not dying. Okay, you're chill. You're cool. What is going on? Oh! Okay. Um, that is an easy fix. And really, all that's needed is Olimar's involvement. This, on the other hand, do I have anything? Pack? I think I, I use this. Ready, set. Go, go, go. How much damage can they deal? Dash! I only lost one. It always leads with its its uh, claw arm, so I can kind of tell what direction it's supposed to be heading. It's almost already dead, which is good. Is it? Can it destroy that? It can't. Yep. Shoot me. Ow. Ow. That's not good. Okay. I kind of expected to dodge that. That was my own mistake. That's fine. We are an objective-based company. We only care about results, <laughs> not with how they're achieved. Another domino falls. Nice. Go, 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 go. Is that the last? I mean, that's the last part, but... Okay, Olimar. Knock it down. Go, go, go. Can I bait it out? No, I can't. I'm tempted to use some heavy machinery on this, or heavy weaponry on this. Come on, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. Kill it. Okay, it's dead. Go. I can't believe I didn't si I didn't stick around for that. It was so unfortunate. Okay, uh, we lost some Pikmin. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. There's nothing on that stool. I think this is the last treasure in the in the area. It is. It is. That's the last ship part. Yes. We're done. I can start building my numbers. Which I mean, it doesn't matter too much, but that's. That's a lot of ship parts in one day. That's six of them. 
So I really, I delivered, and just at half day, too. Or even, where are they? Oh, they're there. Originally, I thought that they, uh, they couldn't make it because they couldn't fit through that hole with the, the ship part, and that they needed to be blue Pikmin in order to take it through the water and then onto the counter space and then down. But nope, I was very wrong. Very, very wrong. Uh, let's go grab this with Moss, just so we're not wasting time. Okay, and what is Olimar actually doing? I haven't gone... Have I gone up there? Have I killed that guy? I don't... I don't even remember. Let's fall down. Uh, yeah. Really, just the rest of this is cleanup. We, we did it. My experience is more than enough when it comes... Here we go, here we go, here we go. A little alcohol never inhibited me any. <laughs> We get the, the safe cutscene too. It's gorgeous. The design of this ship is, I don't know if it's nostalgia speaking, but it's its such a profile. I love this ship so much. I've done it, I've done it. The SS Dolphin is finally, is fully repaired. Finally, I'll be able to escape this planet. The time has come to head home. I'm going back to Hokitate, back to my family. It's the same music. I just beat Pikmin 1 yesterday again. Now, there's a worry though that this isn't going to end with Olimar being okay. I mean, we know he turns out okay, but he turns into a leafling. So, why? How? Does he crash land again? Does the ship explode? It doesn't explode? The takeoff was a success, but as I entered, exited this planet's atmosphere, I realized that Moss had snuck onto the ship, and she was clearly suffering. I rushed to turn the ship around and tried to land, but at that very moment, my life support system failed. And thus, we learn that the ending of Pikmin 1, the, the best ending, and the bad ending are canon. Olimar leaves the planet, but then he dies. How this affects Pikmin 2, I have no idea. I don't know. Also, this can be played two-player. Although, I, I'm guessing that's just the rock-throwing mode. The so-called girlfriend mode. Pretty good run, overall. I love the Pikmin 1 remix. 523. Recovered two ship parts. Expanded your exploration radius. Collected a Flarlick. Summary of all of our days. Ugh. But look look in the difference. Look at the difference here. Total Pikmin lost. Okay, three. That was day one. But 47 lost? 47. Oh, that was just total. Okay. 49. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like after we lost the 47, things got a lot better. And I didn't even double that number by the end. That's the difference that a practice makes. Now, the question remains. What's the reward? What's the reward for this? So that's the story of how I was pulled back to this planet. And how I lost my life support systems and woke up as a leafling. I appreciate you taking the time to listen to the entire harrowing tale. Thanks to you, I've been able to remember, remember so much. When I first became a leafling, I remember seeing a very interesting looking cave. 
It must be around here somewhere. What? What? <laughs> That's just here now? Can you go? I wonder if this is the cave he was talking about. While Olimar was recounting his adventures, I spotted the entrance to a cave right here. Kaupji. For whatever reason, our radar never picked up on it. That must be why we didn't know it existed until now. What could be inside? What? What is this cave? Is this as the reward? So what is it? I expected like I expected we would get the uh the the horn. That made sense to me. That was like this is the only unique thing in this experience, so we're going to get it. But no, it's a, another cave which we're going to enter. I'm going to do this this recording session. Also, a quick aside. Since this is the end of the episode and this will be the next episode, I guess. You probably haven't, if you have addressed me at all in the comments, which I'm going to be pinning probably in, I'm going to be pinning it when these start releasing. Um, I probably have, I haven't addressed any comments I might have gotten because I'm recording ahead. Uh, February is a very busy month for me, just mainly honestly because of birthdays. Um, and because of the nature of me having already pre-recorded this, I thought, you know what? Let's just go ahead and record the rest of it and then have a brief break in my schedule as I head out of February uh, so that when I return, I'm, I'm basically playing the last episodes of the Let's Play. Other than a challenge mode, if there is one, I suppose I'll probably do that. But I'm going to do this at the very end of this recording session, and then whatever comments you may have had, I will address next episode probably as part of the preamble since I've talked to everyone already. Or not next episode, but the episode after since this is the end and this will be the next episode. So, next time in Pal Plays Pikmin 4, we head into... What is this called? I can't, I can't leave that for the next episode. What is this called? An unnamed mysterious cave. <laughs> I have no idea what's lurking inside here, but there's no option for me to take Pikmin in with me. So whatever it is, we shall see it together. Some of you for the first time, and me definitely for the first time, in Pikmin 4. See y'all then.